And they change in that process known as mutation. Here with guidance on protecting yourself and your loved ones this season is epidemiologist and data scientist, Dr. Caitlin Gentilina. It's good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, in light of what I, I just stated about mutation, what are the challenges in creating uh, new vaccines or improved vaccines when you're dealing with something that's ever changing? It's true. So COVID-19 and flu mutate, continuously mutate, and they change very quickly, creating new versions of themselves. And each one of these new versions finds a way to start chipping away at our immunity wall, creating infections and unfortunately with medically vulnerable hospitalizations and deaths. And so this is why we update COVID-19 and flu vaccines regularly to address these mutations, to patch up that wall, to make sure it's in tip top shape the next time we come in contact with the virus. And are we seeing or will we see soon the new updated vaccines for both COVID-19 and the flu? They should be coming out sh relatively short, uh, in a, in a, probably in a few weeks, which the timing should be perfect as we would expect flu and COVID and even RSV waves to really start ramping up in October and November. So let's talk a bit about the, it, it sounds like it would be just logical, but what are the benefits of getting those updated vaccines and what are the problems if we don't? Yeah, so staying up to date with your vaccines is really the best way to reduce your risk of severe illness, hospitalizations and deaths from COVID and from flu. And this continues to be really important because it's still resulting in thousands of hospitalizations and deaths each year. Um, right now in the middle of summer, we're seeing about 600 Americans die per week still. So it's certainly still out there. Even if we're tired of it, COVID is not tired of us, and so we must remain vigilant. Well, are the updated vaccines, I know you hear this all the time, are they safe? They are safe. All authorized and approved COVID-19 vaccines have been deemed safe and effective. In fact, uh, COVID-19 vaccines are under the most intense safety monitoring in U.S. history. Hundreds of millions of people have gotten these vaccines and the story remains the same. They're safe and effective. U.S. follows a really uh, stringent golden standard review process, which includes lots of research, clinical trials, robust re regulatory review, as well as ongoing monitoring and of the safety even after we get vaccines. And like I said, the story hasn't changed. These vaccines are safe, far safer than an infection and uh, continue to be effective every year. Where will we be able to get our vaccines this year? Yeah, so the most popular place is usually someone's um, doctor's office. They're also widely available in pharmacies that you can show up at. Um, usually I check out vaccines.gov to find the nearest vaccine site around me. And is that the website you would send the viewers to to learn more about the vaccines and the updated vaccines? Yeah, so in addition to cdc.gov, another great resource is CVEEP, which is cveep.gov slash stay updated. There's a lot of vaccine resources on here that is reliable information, and you can also learn more about the importance of updated vaccines. Also, always talk with your healthcare provider. They know your health the best, as well as they'll know when their updated vaccines will be in stock, so you can make an appointment. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we'll have more lifestyles for you right after this.